What's up guys and gals, Dark Dally here. And today we are back in my little fishing village on Spectacle Island again. It is a beautiful morning here on Spectacle Island. What I'm doing here is, well, yeah, like I said, I'm building like a little fishing retreat kind of village. I'd like to keep all the buildings kind of the same look. I know I got the big gaudy neon letters, but I, I like it. This building was featured in the last episode of DIY Decor, where I showed how to make this little glowing rope bridge. And if you missed that episode and you want to see it, a uh, link will be in the description. I have also fixed some. If you did see it, you recall me showing how some of the lamps were sticking above the posts, and I fixed that. Actually, it was quite easy. Because the lamps usually stick through the post a little bit, I was able to grab the bottom ones and yank them out, and that dropped the top ones down. So it looks a little more acceptable now. And then out here is the start to... This will have a rope bridge to it too, as well other buildings. I'm trying to cultivate a little fishing village feel, except of course for the armory, because that's my bunker and it must be stout, you know, to survive explosions and contain all the dangerous weapons held within. That's also where my electrical testing room, which you saw in my last video I posted, it's... It's also housed in the bunker again and needs to be protected from attackers. So, today, what are we talking about today? I wanted to show a couple things for another DIY decor episode. A couple simple things, but they all have like notes attached to them. I wanted to show my beautiful potted mute fruits. Very simple to make, but it does come with a warning label. But they look so nice. And then also my indoor plumbing. And most of these are really simple. Oh, and the fireplace, which gives the video its title. We will get to that. Let's start with the easiest one. So easy that you can pretty much just look at this stuff and you know how I did it. And it's not that it's a big secret. It's, it's, it's what it does. And of course, you know, if you want a water pump inside, it's just a matter of using the rug glitch and... A water pump the only thing is this can be tricky oh and I did it on the first try okay well this can be tricky now the thing about this again it's so easy you probably figured it out the moment you saw it. and you can move it indoor and remove the rug well why would you want this other than it looks only slightly cool I'll tell you why a, a few of you I reckon probably play in survival mode and if you don't you should it's really fun I love playing on survival mode and having a water pump indoors is priceless because when you move it indoors it still works and my settlements on survival mode and I should probably do a feature on survival mode settlements because as you may know you want to design them a little different they're designed more for necessity and protection from attacks yeah fill up those water bottles within the protection of your own home very good the potted mute fruits again probably so simple you already figured it out but there is one note I want to add to it and I will show it anyway. Here's what I did with those. Simple rug. And some mute fruit. Can be tricky as well. Doesn't like to go on the rug. But it does. And then here's there is actually two notes about the mute fruits. Now you can you can now place it anywhere. And if you assign someone to it, it will bear fruit. They can farm it and everything just like normal. And and so that that can make it look really cool because then you have the purple fruit hanging off of it. It's very decorative and cool. The problem is this, as you may know with the rug glitch, when you take the rug out, whatever it's on will sink through the floor. Mm, that's not true that's not so with the mute fruit. Here's what happens with the mute fruit. When you place it, see, I want to place it right here, and I want to get rid of that ugly rug hanging out. Mute fruit goes with it, which means you got to leave the rug there. So when you do it, you want to plan out how it's going to look. See here, you know, I had to leave the rugs here, so I had already planned where the plant would be in relation to the rugs. And it looks like it was meant to be there. There's not some gaudy little welcome mat hanging out. It looks like they're placed independently. So that's that's one thing to note about the mute fruit is that you can't delete the rug, at least not in any way that I've found. Maybe if I'd used two rugs, I could. I don't know. If someone knows something different that I don't, please tell me. The other thing about it 
and this is something important to note, is that, oh, you know what I should mention? I got this trick watching another YouTuber. I'm not going to take credit for her stuff. I would never do that. Mad Queen Show is awesome at decorating and things like that, and I saw that in one of her videos. So I'm not taking credit for the new fruit thing, though I did think of the idea of putting it in a pot, and I will show that. I just I do want to give her credit, and a link to her channel will be in my description for this video. But one thing she didn't mention, and I found out the hard way, I don't see one out here. When you do it, wherever you did it from, like I did it out here, a ghost mute fruit tree will remain. It did with mine, with all three of these that I planted that I have in my house, I had these ghost mute fruits out here. And you can't see them, but you can mount, you can, in build mode, they're like invisible. And occasionally you'll swing your screen around and it'll highlight it. And it's invisible, but it'll say mute fruit tree. It goes away after a while apparently because all three of mine have disappeared they were out here in this flat area and now they're gone so apparently they disappear but this is just a small word of warning that will happen it happened to me and leave those alone if you fuck with them in any way it will make these disappear they're like linked you know I, there's quite a few occasions in fallout where items can get linked usually i see it with electricity but yeah they're, they're, it's like a, a, a ghostly linking to the other one so if you delete it this will get deleted as well so keep that in mind now for the pots, it's very simple. Once you get the mute fruit plant in place by moving the rug, which hopefully you have picked a good rug for the spot, because as I said, you can't remove them, you will then want to add the pot. And it's just as simple as picking a good pot that has a very small plant in it. There's two that you can use. You can use this one, and where's the red one? There it is. What you do is you just put this on its own rug and slide it up under the mute fruit, and the trunk covers the plant, and you can't even see it, and it looks like it's in its own little pot. I think that's kind of a cool little trick. Now on to the fireplace. I haven't seen a fireplace before. I'm sure people have made them, and possibly better than mine. This is not the only way to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and show you what pieces I made it from. Obviously, just using the rug glitch, there's a particular order that you want to put it in. So we can get rid of this, such as some fancy decoration. This is just using the rug glitch to get stuff in place. And the main thing that took me a while to design this was finding the pieces that not only had the right shape to conform to a fireplace, but that had matching colors so it didn't look so bad. I started off with this bookcase here. Oh, it's not going to let me take it apart, is it? Well, we'll take it apart one way or another. Let's put it out here. Okay. Let's break it down. So I got these little side bookcases on, on the uh, cover up the sides of it. And I use these little tables right here. This little tannery hide thing, I thought it made a great cover for the fire. It made it look very rustic inside the cabin. And then, of course, the only two pieces left is the tall bookcase and a campfire. Apparently, there's still a rug there. I must have used two rugs. This happens sometimes. You use two rugs to slide something into place. You remove the first rug, and then it sinks into the ground to where you can't reach the second rug. Which reminds me, word of warning... I did that with my fast travel target. I wanted my fat for some reason I used the rug glitch on my fast travel target. Don't ask me why I did that because I actually don't remember. And when I removed the rug, it sunk into the ground and so it's now completely inaccessible. <laughs> so keep in mind if you're using more than one rug for the rug glitch and you elite one, you may lose that second rug. And maybe that doesn't matter, but if it was a fast travel target, oops, because guess what? You can only ever place one. You cannot ever place a second one. It will not let you. So that's fun little side note. I cannot ever again, as far as I know, place a fast travel target. See, I can't. Even though I can make 362 of them, I can't place one. So keep that in mind. Now that we're done with that tangent, these are the pieces that made up my little fireplace. I simply started with the bookcase, center of the campfire. You know, it's pretty darn self-explanatory. I actually, I think the next thing I did was, yeah, the bookcase and then the fire... If you want to make my fireplace, this is the order you put it in. Then I used the tannery hides. Then I flanked it with these bookcases. And then I slid these into place.
there's a lot more cool decorating ideas to come in this short little series of videos because you got to make your home really feel like a home and those are the little things that do it so guys thanks for watching my name is dark dally i will catch you guys next time